Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how do we use u substitution in order to solve a system of equations. So here we have two equations that make up our system. And as we can see from this system, we have a lot of fractions in this system, which is fine. We can deal with fractions. Fractions do give us a bunch of additional steps, but it, it is doable to work with them. But at the same time, if we did not have fractions, it would make some of the calculations a little bit easier for us. So what we're going to do then is we're going to use u substitution in order to break down our equations a little bit better and make them a little bit more manageable to actually solve. So the way that that's going to work is I want to get rid of these fractions. Okay, so what I'm going to do, or before we get into talking about how the substitution is going to work, I'm going to pull out this 4 over x squared and then this 2 over y squared, just so we can kind of see how this gets broken down. So keep in mind when it comes to fractions, 4 over x squared, this is the same thing as 1 over x squared times 4. And it's better that we see, or that we see this correlation because it's going to make the substitution easier for us. So I can take this 4 and this x squared and kind of split them into two separate fractions. So I can say this is 1 over x squared times 4. Now, again, just to kind of show you how this works, now remember that 4, I can turn 4 into a fraction by putting it over 1. So pulling this apart into two separate fractions is the same thing as this one fraction up here. Again, if I multiply this back together, 1 times 4 is 4, x squared times 1 is x squared. So this is 4 over x squared. So looking at 2 over y squared, 2 over y squared is the same thing as 1 over y squared times 2. Right? Because if we put the 2 over 1, multiply this back together, we get 2 over y squared. And seeing that correlation is going to help us with the u substitution. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that u is going to equal 1 over x squared. And since we have x and y, we are going to need two different variables, two different substitutions. So u is going to equal to 1 over x squared. v is going to equal to 1 over y squared. Uh, just because I see I have x squares and y squareds here in our system. So the way that this substitution is going to look like then, so 4 over x squared, so the 1 over x squared here is going to be u. So really, I'm going to have or u minus the 2 over y squared is going to be 2 times this v, and that's going to equal to a negative 14. The bottom equation is going to look like 5u plus v is equal to 70. So this is what our new system is going to look like with the substitution in place. Taking a look at the substitution here, or what the system looks like after the, the substitution, this system looks much prettier, much nicer to solve than this one over here. So what we're going to do then, taking a look at this system, again, we can solve systems by graphing, by substitution method, by elimination method. I am going to use elimination method, and I am going to choose to cancel out the Vs. So taking a look at the v's, remember when it comes to elimination method, we are concerned with the coefficients in front. We want the coefficients to be able to cancel together, which means we need them to be opposites of each other. The same number, but different signs. Now this top equation is already negative, this bottom equation is positive, and I have a negative 2 and then a positive 1. So we need the lowest common multiple for both of those. And the lowest common multiple for a 2 and a 1 would be a 2. Since the top equation already has a 2, I'm going to simply turn the bottom equation into a positive 2 by multiplying by 2. Remember, I can't just multiply one term. I have to multiply the entire equation. So I am going to, let's see, rewrite this. I'm going to have 4u minus 2v is equal to negative 14. And when I distribute this 2 to everything, I get 10u plus 2v is equal to 140. Remember, when it comes to elimination method, we do want to add the two equations together in the hopes that one of our variables does eliminate. So let's go ahead and add these together. 4u plus 10u gives me 14u. 
negative 2v plus 2v does cancel. That is what I'm looking for. And then I have a negative 14 plus 140, which is going to give me 126 which leaves us with a one-step problem to solve. We can solve this problem by dividing 14 on both sides, giving us that u is equal to 9. So then what I can do at this point here, if u is equal to 9, um, I can back substitute, choose one of my original equations after the substitution. I'm going to use the top equation. I'm going to use 4u minus 2v is equal to negative 14. And now that I know what u is, I'm going to go ahead and plug in u, or the value for u, which is 9, into this equation so that I can solve this equation for v. So 9 times 4 gives me 36. I'm going to move that 36 over to the other side by subtracting it away giving me negative 2v is equal to negative 50. And dividing out both sides by a negative 2, I get that v is equal to a positive 25. I'm going to pause right there, clear up some space on the screen so we can wrap up this problem. All right, so we got that u is equal to 9, v is equal to 25, but those are not our final answers. We need to keep in mind that we did a substitution in the beginning. So when we got down to our final answer, our values here, we're going to have to take those values and substitute them back. So what we have here, the substitution that we did, we did that u is equal to 1 over x squared. All right, so u is equal to 1 over x squared, except now we know what u is. u is 9. So I can plug that in and say 9 is equal to 1 over x squared. And this is the equation that I need to solve, and I need to solve it for x. <coughs> Excuse me. So solving this equation for x, I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. On the right-hand side, x squared is going to cancel, leaving us with 1. On the right-hand side, I get 9x squared. I'm going to divide both sides by the 9 giving us x squared is equal to 1 over 9. And then taking the square roots of both sides, I get that x is equal to plus or minus 1 third. Again, remember the square root of 1 over the square root of 9. The square root of 1 is just a 1. The square root of 9 is a 3. So we have plus or minus 1 over 3 for that one. We need to repeat this process, but for v, and we got that v is equal to 1 over y squared, where our solution, we got that v is equal to 25. So that gives us 25 is equal to 1 over y squared. We need to solve this equation for y. We're going to start by multiplying y squared on both sides. It's going to cancel on the right-hand side, leaving us with 1. On the left-hand side, we get 25y squared. Divide out that coefficient on both sides giving us that y squared is equal to 1 over 25. We need to take the square root of both sides, giving us that y is equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 25. Remember that the square root of 1 is just a 1. The square root of 25 is 5. But this is plus or minus uh, 1 fifth. So x is plus or minus 1 third y is plus or minus one fifth. So our final solution, plus or minus one third, plus or minus one fifth, is the solution to this system. Otherwise, that's it for this video.